The Sylvia Grinnell River has clean water, and you can get here by car from Iqaluit in around 10 minutes. Even when the water's working the way it should, many Iqaluit residents prefer their fresh river water. Most didn't imagine a time where it was the town's only water source. Residents are filling anything that will carry water and bringing it home. The city's plan is similar. They're filling these water trucks right from the river, driving downtown and distributing it to residents. You're supposed to boil the river water for a minute before drinking, which sure beats the piped water right now. The petroleum hydrocarbons in a Kaluit's water can't be removed by boiling. It's so toxic that pregnant women and infants are advised to not even use city water to bathe. These city of Iqaluit workers have been working since 8 a.m. until midnight, since Tuesday, with no let up in sight. Test results for the water contamination aren't even due until Monday. Iqaluit residents can handle a lot. Major arson, windstorms that peel the roofs off of buildings, blizzards. But this water problem, this is starting to weigh on residents. We need, everybody needs a lot of water. We can't drink it. We can't brush our teeth with it. We can't shower our babies with it. We can't wash our dishes. So uh, I guess this probably really puts into perspective um, how magic running water, having running water is. I'm surprised uh, Red Cross hasn't come in with a, trip, or a couple of planes full of water because this is the time that we really need it. They should be here to help out as well. It is stressful because I have to wash dishes. Like the top I have here, it, it's going to last an hour actually for us, for both of us, because I'm using it for dishes and I'm using it for the food. So one jug is like good for one supper. Jugs of water from the south, the government of Nunavut promised, started landing at the airport today. But scenes like this are likely to continue. After all, can you airlift enough clean water to supply a community of over 7,000 people? If you can, how long can you keep it up for? None of these questions have easy answers, but a Calouite residents are going to have to find out. Ken Triscoll, EPTN National News, Halloween.